This is my book, If Picasso Had a Christmas Tree. It was the first book in a series that became four books. We also did uh, If Picasso Went to the Sea, If Picasso Went to the Zoo, and If Picasso Went on Vacation. But this Christmas book was the first one to start off the series. It was an idea that I had many years ago and started doing some paintings and I was able to get to about 11 and I thought this book is never going to get done. So I decided to ask for the help of other art teachers and we had 35 other art teachers go ahead and pick an artist from history and do a Christmas tree in the style of that particular artist. So this one is mine by, uh, and I'm using the style of Picasso, so his cubist sort of work, to create a Christmas tree and then there's a little Santa Claus and a, and a candle in the picture. So the poem goes like this. If Pablo Picasso had a Christmas tree, are these the colors and shapes you'd see? Pablo loved paint and he loved to draw, made art from all things, all that he saw. He drew and used shapes you see everywhere, the circle, the triangle, and even the square. Could this be his? It's bright and it's green, the candle in front of this holiday scene. He painted with patterns and drew in with lines. His name will be remembered for all future times. So, I'm teaching through the poem a bit about the style, about the artist, and what makes uh, their work unique. So we have Louise Nevelson represented. Um, again, this is by Colin Temple, another art teacher that I've worked with in the past, who's actually a student teacher of mine. So we have artists, both male and female, from Renaissance through pop art, Keith Haring, Sonia Deluni, Adolf Gottlieb, and some very, very abstract, so, and then others that are more uh, realistic, this one being Art Deco by Tamara de Lampica, at least the images of her style, um, but I actually painted this one. Jacob Lawrence. So a lot of the teachers would find a famous work by that artist and then figure out a way to kind of turn it and include a Christmas tree so we could see if that artist painted it, what would it look like? This is a great way to kind of introduce kids to the different styles of art. Um, and I'll flip through for you a little bit so you can see some of the different ones that we've included in here. And again, painting, drawing, sculpture, stuff that's very abstract to things that are much more concrete. And it's a great way to introduce kids to art history uh, during the holiday season. In the back of the book, we have a, uh, a listing of all of the art teachers that created the works, and if they have a blog, we've included in there, um, so it might be helpful in your classroom. At the very back, we have a website where you can go and download a PDF that'll include 15 lessons that you can do with children uh, to expand on their learning about the different schools of art and art history. We understand that this might not be um, acceptable in a public classroom setting, so after doing this particular book, the intended audience was just as a gift for people who just loved art, we realized that maybe we could expand beyond that. So that's why we've included other books like If Picasso Went to the Sea, If Picasso Went to the Zoo, and If Picasso Went on Vacation. All of these books can be found at firehousepublications.com.